This demo series use a couple of DICOM datasets to demonstrate the system functions, including segmentation, STL generation and additional visualization options. First we open DICOM dataset by opening any of the files. Three cross-section views and two 3D rendering views are created. You can use left button to rotate 3D views, change thresholds in 2D, middle button to move, right button to zoom in and out, etc. 3D views will follow the 2D threshold changes, and the region of interest can be changed by the handles. Mouse wheel to scroll through slices. You can also create dimensions and angles. Now we generate the surface rendering of the model, and change the opacity of the display. Change the color mode of the DICOM set. Save STL file, and then we close the project. In the second case, we open the DICOM file. Have a quick overview of the case by changing the thresholds and region handles. Now start the segmentation. Change thresholds. Give a seed point. Then we have a clean model now. Generate the surface rendering. We can notice there are many holes and pockets in the model because the patient bone structure is very loose. Now we use our tissue peeling function to fix the model. Give it a rough hole size. Go. Then we have a model with the holes filled. Export the STL file. Save the case as a project, and then close it. Next example, open the DICOM files, adjust the region of interest, change the thresholds, give a seed point. We have a clean bone model. There are still scatters on the model. We use this automatic scatter removal tool to remove them first. This is the manual scatter tool. It can also be used to remove areas from the data sets. Just click some point to make a profile. The area will be removed. Now the surface model.
export STL file. Next we will show some visualization functions. Change the color map of the structure. Adjust transparency, lighting, etc. This way we can create some very nice pictures for your presentations. This concludes our demo.